Hi guys, welcome to Helen's Cuisine. Good to see you again. Tonight I've got a treat for you. These are my favourite. Burekia with ricotta, but the cheats way of making it. To start with, you're going to need a nice big bowl. We're going to need some fresh ricotta, some cream Philadelphia cheese, a little bit of cinnamon, vanilla, and that's about it. So first up, I've got some beautiful fresh ricotta. This is about a cup full, maybe a cup and a half, but it's got to be fresh. And this is straight out of the deli fresh. We've got a quarter of a cup of Philadelphia cream cheese. Give it a bit of a mix, because next you need to put your cinnamon and your vanilla. About a quarter of a teaspoon of each, just to give it that little tang. It smells delicious as it is. Now I can eat this just fresh with some honey. I love ricotta and you're going to love this one. Next up, I've got some beautiful gouji pastry. It's the cheats way, like I said, but you're going to love these. No fuss, they're already cut out in circles. It's so easy. You can get your gouji pastry anywhere. Coles and Woolies stock it really well. So the gouji is ready to wrap. Our pastry nice and flat. A little bit of butter so that it can help stick. I have about a tablespoon of our ricotta, placing it in the middle, folding it over, press it down and they're ready to fry. So this is the sweet version. I love the savoury version and you're going to love it as well. All you do is use the same amount of ricotta, maybe a little bit of cream cheese and some grated halloumi through it, a little bit of mint and you do exactly the same and they are delicious. Beautiful for an entree or a little snack. So here they are guys, that simple. We're going to head over to the stove now and fry these little babies up. So we have our vegetable oil on medium heat. So you can have these in the freezer, you can make them a weekend before, pop them in some nice little glad wrap in the fridge, in a container, and they're ready to cook as soon as you put them out of the freezer. So you don't have to prepare them in advance, but you can if you want to. The most important thing is just keep flipping them. You don't want them to burn, so you just gotta keep on flipping those little babies and they'll come out nice and brown. So there we have it. It took all up probably 15 minutes and these are delicious. You can see how crispy they look. We're gonna finish them off with a little bit of icing sugar and a little bit of cinnamon. Now, if you really wanna go over the top, these are served really well with carob honey. You can get this from most continental delicatessens. Carob honey is my favorite. A little bit of a drizzle over the top because it's quite gooey and yummy and sticky. You're gonna love this.